You're watching CITV with Jamie Moyer, left-handed pitcher of the Philadelphia Phillies. Plymouth White Marsh High School has a strong tradition of highly competitive and champion sports teams. Through CITV Sports, you'll witness PW's outstanding student athletes in action. However, there are many more games each week than what CITV is able to cover. So come out to PW, see the games live, and cheer for our teams from the stands. If you are a senior citizen with a gold card, you can even attend all of our regular season home games for free. Good luck to the competitors and go Colonials! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Plymouth White Marsh Colonials Wrestling. Tonight's matchup. Our Plymouth White Marsh Colonials versus Father Judge High School. 
We'll be starting tonight's matchup at 182 pounds. I'm Mr. John Staudenmeyer, joined by Luke Massio. And it looks like uh, Father Judge is going to be bumping up their 170-pounder, Eric Lindemann, to be facing Plymouth White Marsh's Scott Ory. And we are underway. Tonight is the first dual meet for Plymouth White Marsh of the season, coming off of an individual tournament at Avon Grove this past Saturday. And to start things off, we'll go like Scott Orr was trying to throw a front headlock. Now both wrestlers just looking to Open up here, try to get things started. Looking for inside position here. Nice high crotch by Lindemann. Or he does a nice job taking him right to his back. So that'll be two points for the takedown. That's gonna be three near fall. Doesn't need it because Scott Ori just pinned his opponent in one minute and three seconds. For Plymouth White Marsh to take the early lead, six to zero over Father Judge. Luke, anytime you're ready, you can just join right in. All right, looks like we're having this evening uh, at 195 pounds. This is going to be for Plymouth White Marsh, Mark Mitch. Matt Mitchell, oh thank you, yes, Matt Mitchell. I should know that, I coached him in freshman football. Uh, Father Judge has forfeited it at 195 pounds. So Plymouth White Marsh now takes a lead, 12 to zero, heading in into the 220 pound matchup. We have uh, for Father Judge, Sean Armstrong, and for Plymouth White Marsh, Nick Sudell. Now I know you, Luke, you know, you know Nick quite well here because you played football with him. Yeah, Nick has been uh, playing both uh, football and, and uh, participating in wrestling the last several years. And uh, Nick, uh, he was a starter on the uh, football team? He did, he was our starting quick tackle this year. It's stalling, green, stalling, green. So Nick gets banged with stalling. That means that uh, Nick really has to generate some offense, which he just does with a shot, low leg single. He's looking to pull it in, uh, looks like Armstrong got his leg back, uh, and the referee calls them out. So no points awarded. So what started to be a little action turned into a lot of action. Nice shot by Sudell. Again, hanging on that left leg, and he drives him right out of bounds. So they'll restart with 46 seconds remaining in the first period. No score. And as you can see, these guys just looking for position on their feet, working for inside position, pummeling inside. Nick with a nice shot inside, now he doubles it up. He's in good position there, yes, he gets the two. Nick Sudell with those cat-like reflexes. I'm sure he was just like that on the football field. Oh, Nick, bad position here. And he gave up the reversal. So Armstrong quickly ties the match up at two to two at the very end of the first period. So we're gonna go into the second period with a two-two score. 
Nick Sudell of Plymouth Waymarsh, Sean Armstrong from Father Judge. Father Judge at this point right now is down 12-0 team score after the first two matches, starting at 182 pounds. We are now at 220. And quite honestly, Luke, to be fair, Nick actually is wrestling up here. His natural weight is 195 pounds. The Plymouth White Marsh doesn't really truly have a 220 pounder, so they asked Nick to bump up and wrestle 220 pounds. Yeah, well, I think Nick is a great person to, uh, to make that decision. He can do whatever, uh, do whatever benefits the team. And, and so Nick gets the escape, so he's going to get one point here. He's going to put himself up three to two. Minute 30 seconds into left in the second period. Again, as you can see, the little hand fighting. Nick actually moves very well as a, for a big guy, especially 220 pounds, wrestling at 220 pounds. You can see the shot there. He's reaching a little bit. He's got to, got to step in and finish that shot. Really want to pull down your opponent's head here. Really work on try to tire your opponent out a little bit. That's one thing Nick's good at. You know, he'll just keep coming back at you and back at you. He has no quit in him. We saw that this year. Again, another shot on the leg. Just having a little trouble finishing. And this might be a little bit of a, a weight issue here with his opponent being uh, his opponent roughly weighing about 25 pounds more than him. Tall task, but I'm sure Nick is up to it. We're coming up on 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Sudal with the lead, 3-2. Seems like Nick is, is really generating most of the offense here. Yeah, that's that's uh, Sudal for it. Like I said, he just keeps coming at you, coming at you until he gets the job done. There's no quit in there, Sudal. He's got to circle in, stay inside. He already has a stall call. Nice, again, another nice shot on his opponent's right leg. Turns it back in, doubles it up, and he gets the two right at the end of the second period here. Job well done there at the end of the period by Sudell. Now we go into the third period. Sudell now up five to two. His opponent takes down the bottom position. Reaching back. Armstrong trying to step over. Nick's getting him his hips under him. That's he wanna keeps his needs to keep his hips up here so he doesn't step over. That's better. He kind of readjusts. Nick's got to be careful he doesn't pin himself. Doing a nice job here. Just trying to keep, trying to ride his opponent out here. Looking for a turn. Eating up some clock. You see Nick looking up at the clock there. And we're coming up to about a minute left. Again, Nick's got his hips low. He's got to be careful here. His opponent's driving into him. He rolls across. Good, he gets his hips back up. As long as Nick stays on top here, keeps his hips up, he should be in pretty good position and pretty good shape. Definitely don't want to get caught under your opponent here, especially giving up 25 pounds. So what happened there was Nick was riding parallel, so he really wasn't doing anything. So that's a point for Sean Armstrong. So that brings the score now to Sudell. Five, Armstrong three. So Nick with a two point lead here with 30 seconds remaining in the third period. Nick looking to slide a half in. He jumps to that right side, slip the half in. He might be able to run it to the top of his head. Under 10 seconds remaining. Nick's going to cut him and give him a point, five to four, and that's how it's going to finish. 
So we got a win for Plymouth White Marsh here from Nick Sudell. Great job, great job. Being undersized, still having that hill switch, coming out with victory. So that now is going to bring the team score for Plymouth White Marsh 15, Father Judge 0. And that's going to bring us up to heavyweight. And Father Judge is going to be forfeiting heavyweight. So Quincy Williams is going to get a victory here. That's going to give PW another 16 points and jump the score now to Plymouth White Marsh 21, Father Judge 0. Now we're going back down to the little guys. And we're going to be starting here at 106. And this is going to be Plymouth White Marsh's Dylan Moore. And Dylan's opponent here is going to be Liam Lug from Father Judge. And Liam with a, a quick shot in on Dylan. And it looks like Liam has locked up a cradle here, or very close to locking up a cradle. Moore's got to peel the hands here. He's got to fight the hands. And he doesn't. Liam brings him back. This is close to being a pin. That's pretty close. Yep. So that's going to be a quick six for Father Judge. That was a quick match there. So that's going to bring a team score. Plymouth Point Marsh 21, Father Judge 6. Uh, this might be the, the highlight match of the evening, Luke. This is going to be uh, Tim McCall from Father Judge High School, who has 99 career wins. Wow. And his opponent is going to be a very tough, tough Marco DiBattista. Uh, DiBattista, just a sophomore. Had a nice year last year. Older brother Jean Piero, correct? That is correct. Jean Piero, a 100 win. Wrestler for Plymouth White Marsh graduated, went on to is, has gone on to Stevens Technical Institute and wrestles for them. I know that the coaching staff, Luke, is really expecting really big things out of Marco this year. Big, how little their opponent is, they're going to go after him 100%. Not quick till they get the job done. McCall trying to sucker drag here, and Di Batista does a nice job defending it. They get a stalemate, they're going to get back up on their feet. So far, it looks like two evenly matched wrestlers. Yeah, that's a nice shot by Mark there to fight out of there. Marco doing a good job. He's just pushing him to the edge. I would think that soon that's going to draw a stall call. If McCall continues to back up. Coming down to 30 seconds remaining, first period. No score. McCall with the Russian, and he lets it go. DiBattista with a front headlock here. Trying to cut the corner. Should try to bounce this and then try to, try to spin. Now McCall is going to work hands and, and keep the elbow. We're going under five seconds yet. Still no score. And it looks like we're going to finish 0-0 at the end of the first. Well, thus far, just as anticipated, this is a very good match. So Di Batista's choice, he takes down. Now his goal is to try to get out here, work hands, and sits out. 
Still working hands. McCall with a half in. He's got a crab ride. DiBattista does a nice job stepping over here. Almost had it. He's got to really peel that hand off. McCall's in a little bit of trouble here. He's in a little bit of trouble here. DiBattista trying to, he's trying to get a little high to lean back and try to get him to pin himself, but he readjusts. Uh, again, fresh start here, not much uh, happening. Uh, we have about a m just under a minute remaining, second period. Still no score. McCall with a minute and four second ride there. That was pretty, pretty good. De Batista needs to, needs to cut this corner really quick. And he's, he's got it, he's got it, I think he's got it. He's got McCall's hips in trouble. McCall's got problems here. Now McCall's going to. Oh, this has got to be close to a reversal. McCall's. And it is. Deba, that was a beautiful job by Marco Di Battista. What a nice job. Coming down to 15 seconds remaining with the reversal. Now Di Battista up 2-0. just got to ride this out here these last few seconds. And now we are going to go third period. Di Batista two, McCall zero. McCall's choice, he's going to take down. Di Batista got to be careful he doesn't get too high here. Got a little high right at the end of that uh, second period. Yeah, that reversal was big there. That, that was a big two points. Batista throws legs in. He's got to keep hipping in here. Oh, he's got he's got to be careful. He's getting himself in trouble. Looks like McCall's really trying to. Oh, he does a nice job cutting the corner, stepping over. Should be getting back points. Yes, he does. De Batista's going to get two back points and take a lead now, four to zero. That, that two back points was big. Now he's got a little bit of room to play with. He's driving to the head here. He might even get more back points. Oh, he got a one count. You need to get a two count in order to get back points. He definitely is. Continuing to be, to be on the uh, offensive here. He's got to be careful here. He doesn't get his call, doesn't catch his head. And he does. And that should be one. They're really scrambling here. And surprisingly, Di Batista is still in, in control. He never gave him, gave him the escape. We're going under here, and I don't think anything's going to happen. That should be back points, but it is not. So it's going to finish 4-0. Marco Di Battista over Tim McCall. That's a nice win right there. That's going to bring the team score now. Plymouth White Marsh 24, Father Judge High School 6. And that's going to take us to uh, 120 pounds. And this is going to be Michael Clarkson against Mike Metzger.
Clarkson down early here in the first period, two to zero. Mike Clarkson, just a freshman. I had the opportunity to coach Mike on the freshman football team this year, one of our tougher players. And you also had the opportunity to play with his older brother. Yeah, his older brother, Ray, also a football player and wrestler. You know, Ray was by far one of the toughest kids that I ever played with. He's our, one of our fullback, blocking back, and also our middle linebacker, captain of our defense. And a tough, tough kid, just like his little brother. Michael's in a little bit of trouble here, and that's it. So that's going to be a pin for uh, Father Judge. So Father Judge is going to collect six more team points, and that's going to bring the score, Plymouth Point March 24, Father Judge High School 12. <laughs> Got ourselves a pretty good, uh, pretty good match here. And uh, we're going to move to 126 pounds, and this is going to be a forfeit win for Jake Tassoni. So that'll get PW a quick six team points. And we now have a score, Plymouth Boy Marsh 30, Father Judge 12. Now this should be it. They should, uh, according to my calculations here, Luke, it looks like all the forfeits are done. And it looks like we're gonna finish out here with a match in each of the remaining weight classes. Father Judge is a little short-handed this evening. Of course, there are two pins keeping them in the match. Zach Fisher gets taken down early here in the first period. He's down 2 0. Now, you had that opportunity to coach Zach on the freshman football team, is that correct? I did. I, I, he is a sophomore. I had the opportunity to coach him last year. Uh, he was uh, also in the varsity lineup as a freshman last year as a wrestler. Again, another tough kid. Quite a few football players somewhere along the way. Many of them have played football either at the freshman level or at the varsity level. And that's where they're getting their toughness from. And they go out of bounds. We're gonna get a fresh start here. This is Trevor Elfin from Father Judge. Has the early lead here, two to zero. Yeah, he seems to be controlling this match thus far. Zach seems to be having a little bit of, a little bit of trouble. Looks like a near side cradle he's trying to work. Oh, and the referee calls it potentially dangerous. So we're gonna get a fresh start. Zach down 2-0, 13 seconds remain, first period. Zach really needs to get his legs under him and build his base up to get out. Can't get caught flat. There he is. And that'll bring us to the end of the first period. Early lead here for Trevor Elfin of Father Judge High School, 2-0 over Zach Fisher from Plymouth White Marsh. Elfin takes down. So now Zach is going to need to try to work something on top here, try to get a turn. And Elfin right to his feet, working the hands. He's gonna try, try to hit a quick switch. That's trouble for Fisher. He's stepping over, he's just gonna work right to, the, to his head. And he does, he gets the two reversals. So now Elfin's gonna go up 4-0 over Fisher here in the second period. Zach having a little bit of trouble down underneath. Hasn't been able to work himself up. Needs to get wrist control here a little bit. Needs to work those hands. 
Looking for the tilt. And Elfin does get the tilt. And he's getting some back points here. So a three count's gonna get him two back points, two near fall points, once awarded. There is, a, it is awarded, he's gonna give him two. It's gonna bring the score. Trevor Elfin, six. Zach Fisher, Plymouth White Marsh, zero. Under a minute remaining, second period. He is in a little bit of trouble here, I agree. That's, that's trouble, he crunched, he's trying to crunch it towards his head and he is working, Elfin really working hard to get the back points and he is getting some back points here, Luke. Again, another three count, so that's gonna be two near fall points once awarded. That's potentially dangerous, so now he's gonna give him the two points. Now Elfin's gonna go up eight to zero with 22 seconds remaining, second period. Trevor Elfin, a tough, tough wrestler. He's giving Zach all kinds of fits here. Zach needs to calm down, reverse himself. And it looks like Elfin here is probably gonna ride out the remaining remainder of the period. Oh, 0.5 seconds remaining. It's gonna be a quick one here. Quick whistle, quick buzzer. Elfin up 8-0 over Zach Fisher. So that's gonna take us into the third period now. Fisher has a uh, choice, he's gonna take neutral, which is a uh, pretty good call here. So at this point right now, Elfin with the eight point lead will get Father Judge 14 points instead of the three team points awarded for victory because he is winning by eight or more points. Oh, nice duck under. And he's gonna go up by 10 here, 10-0 ten Elfin. He's gonna cut him, let him go, give Zach a point, which were, was not awarded as of yet. Now they go neutral. So now it's 10 to one. Elfin again, looking, just looking to take him down. But Zach back, backing up here. So we got a minute, 21 seconds remaining, third period. Trevor Elfin, Father Judge High School, 10. Zach Fisher, Plymouth White Marsh, one. Team score, Plymouth White Marsh, 30. Father Judge, 12. And that was a beautiful double takedown. That was very nice. And they go out of bounds, but they got the takedown. So that's 12 to one. Twelve two. So now he's gonna cut him. So we got a score here of twelve to two. And that's now gonna be fourteen to two. Just having a little, all right, so we got 14-3 with coming down to 30, just over 30 seconds remaining. Stall call on Zach for backing up there. Just trying to avoid getting taken down. So it's 14 to three with just under 30 seconds remaining. Zach's gotta be careful, he doesn't get banged for another stall. Just trying to fight. Boy, that was a beautiful throw there, but fortunately for Zach, he was out of bounds. 21 seconds remain. Elfin looking for a takedown to his back is the only way they're gonna get a tech fall here. And that's the way I think, I think that's, and he does give him the two. So it'll finish 16-3 final. So that's gonna give Father Judge 14 points for the major decision. So that'll bring the score now, Plymouth White Marsh 30, and Father Judge High School 16.
We're now going to go to 138 pounds. So this now at 138 pounds is going to be for Father Judge High School, Dan Dugan, and for Plymouth White Marsh, Matt Aprilli. Really trying to, nice little duck under. Boy, that was sweet. That was really nice. That was very quick. Nice, nifty little move there. So Matt Aprilli is going to take the early lead here, 2-0 in the first period. Dugan tries to roll out. Uh, and then he just reverses. Matt gets his gets two back, so that's going to tie the score 2-2. Matt's really got to work the hands here. He's got to peel the hands off. I think Father Judge's coach Jim Savage trying to get him to tell Dugan to throw the cradle in, but Matt's fighting it off. Boy, that was, that was a little nifty there. Real nifty cradle up over the top. This is trouble. This is, this is not a good position. He's got a lot. 30 seconds to fight, and that's, that's all she wrote for that one. Dugan's gonna get the fall there. Dugan gets the fall, that's gonna give Father Judge six more team points. And that's really gonna close the gap here now. That's gonna close the gap. Plymouth White Marsh 30, Father Judge High School 22. And this is quite a comeback here by Father Judge. All right, so now we're going to go to 145 pounds. It looks like this is uh, going to be Mike Davis from Father Judge High School and Zach Wakefield for Plymouth White Marsh. Good, good. That was really nice. And Wakefield with uh, takedown. It looks like he's going to get some near fall points. He got a five wave. When awarded, he's going to get the three back points. And Wakefield with the pin. So we got three matches remaining here. And with that pin by Zach Wakefield, it's going to give Plymouth White Marsh a 36 to 22 lead. <laughs> So this is going to be Adam White from Father Judge High School, whose older brother wrestled at North Catholic. Or maybe this, no, this, I believe, no, I think this is Anthony Armstrong. And this is Ben Billings from Plymouth White Marsh. Captain Ben Billings. And Luke, you also had the opportunity to play with Ben on the football team as well. Yeah, I did, and uh, as funny as it sounds, Ben Truman was our, uh, our starting nose guard this year. Uh, undersized kid, but uh, he had that mentality that he might be, oh, great. He had that mentality that he might be small for playing nose guard, but he was gonna go toe to toe with the rest of the uh, opponent's O-line. He is definitely uh, looked upon as being one of PW's producers here in the wrestling program. He's had a really nice career. He's got very, very hard worker. He's 
gotten better each and every year. Ben with a 2-1 lead. Early in the season though, but I think Ben's just coming off of the football season, just not quite in wrestling uh, condition just yet. I know, he's also coming off an uh, injury to his uh, foot there, so I don't know if he's still 100%. Uh, I have faith he'll get there. Well, as tough as he is, he, they did, he did not want to come out of the lineup. And you can just see him grimace there a little bit. Pretty much knowing how important this match is. Try a little boot scoot, just nothing there. A little, little bit of movement. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first period. Billings with a narrow 2 1 lead. Ben just trying to do what he can just to get this, try to get this victory for PW. Try, that's all right. He gets a gets a caution here. Tries to get the early jump. You're allowed two of those before uh, the opponent is awarded a point. I think you, Luke, you can just kind of see the the pain that he's going through here. I think that foot definitely is bothering him a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely having an impact tonight. And he went out of bounds. Still two to one Billings, a minute 38 seconds remaining. That's a second caution. Got to be careful here now because Luke, if he gets another caution, his opponent's going to be awarded the point. Ben trying to get some back points there with the half. It's a little bit of trouble here. He's got to watch himself. He's got to keep his head. That's trouble. That's trouble, Luke. That's too reversal for Father Judge there. So a minute remaining in the second period. Billings now down three to two. Ben looking for Peterson here. He's not able to get it. I really do believe if Ben is at full strength, I think this is a definitely a different match. And Ben with a nice reversal there. So he's going to regain the lead four to three with 24 seconds remaining. Yeah, you can still see that. That foot injury is still just hindering Ben. Ben does have that usual spring in his step, that, that energy that he seems to have. Ben trying to stretch him out here. Fortunately, not uh, giving up anything there. So we're going to take us into the third period with Billings up four to three. And it looks like we have uh, in the corner there, Norristown High School has come in. And looks like they're doing some scouting. That's what a PW's rival is, Norristown High School, no matter what sport. Uh, it's, uh, it's always going to be a great battle between Norristown and Flint White Marsh. Always is, always is, no matter what the sport. It's field hockey, tennis, basketball, no matter what. 
always big crowds, always high energy. Matter of fact, I even see you over in the crowd, Upper Marion's head coach sitting in there as well. So most teams look like they're off this evening, coming down to watch the Colonials. As they should, yeah, Colonials are really proud. Very nice by Billings. Gets the two reversal. That's going to put him up six to three. Now starting to gain a little bit of control of this match. Uh, he lets him out. Uh, he's going to give a point here. So he's still going to be up 6-4. Coming down to a minute and 10 seconds. Yeah, I definitely think Ben is uh, really just trying to get through here. Nice shot, nice shot outside single. Just going to try to crack it back. Very nice. Great job by Billings there. Just going to get two there, go up. Eight to four. Yeah, Billings' foot is definitely, uh, amazingly enough, he was on crutches yesterday, and today he's on a wrestling mat. It just speaks to his toughness. To go from being, being on crutches to uh, winning a hard-fought match so far. Ben throws matters. legs in. Oh, that's, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Ben almost got himself into some major trouble there. So Ben gives up the reversal. Now is only up eight to six. 20 seconds remaining. So Ben gets a point, it's gonna be nine to six. Ben I think is just gonna kind of stall away here. Trying to ride this one out. Yeah, exactly. Big victory of the team. Increase the lead. And that'll get the victory. Yeah, that's a a gutsy victory there. A great, great job by Billings there. So Billings with the 9 6 victory gives Plymouth White Marsh the lead here 39 to 22 with two weight classes remaining. This is now gonna take us to 160 pounds. So this is gonna be Steve Pons against Warren Young. I'll tell you, with Norristown and Upper Marion coming down here, doing a little scout, and that really just speaks to you know, how the Colonials have been a powerhouse in the league the last couple of years. You know, full of great wrestlers. You know, the teams coming down here trying to get the, uh, the scoop on what the Colonials are going to look like this year. For sure, with two back-to-back -back American Conference championships. So Pons is going to take the early lead here with the takedown on Warren Young. Warren, another former Colonial football player, played freshman football last year, has decided just to concentrate on playing and uh, participating in wrestling. Excited to team with chalk sport or dual sport athletes. Warren Young, the younger son of Plymouth White Marsh science teacher, Chris Young. So we're down to about a minute remaining first period. Warren down 2-0, make that 2-1 to one with the escape. And front headlock here by Pons. Young pushes off on it. shot Warren 
Guys, got to keep that leg. Oh, he almost, oh, very close to getting the two points there. Very, very close. So that's the end of the first period. Ponds up two to one over Warren Young of Plymouth White Marsh High School. So Ponds takes the down position, starts the second period. See if Warren has anything here on top. And now he's got to bring, he's just kind of holding on here. Could, could warrant a stall call if he's hanging on the leg. Looks like the referee's letting him wrestle through it. Young does a nice job coming out the back. It sh they sh there's the stall call hanging on the leg. Kind of knew that was coming. Warren got himself into a little bit of trouble there and he gave up a reversal for two points. Now down 4-1. So 124 remains, second period. Stephen Pons of Father Judge, four. Warren Young, one. Not very much. Looks like Warren's trying to step over. He does have Pons' hips to the mat. If he can get a big step over, this is close. A very nice job there by Warren Young. Nice job getting the reversal. Now down only 4-3 with 53 seconds remaining second period. Coach Justin Giovinco giving some instruction to Warren Young, telling him about keeping his hips up. Gotta be careful here. Again, he already has one stall. If he gets another stall call, he will give his opponent one point, and there it is. That's gonna be one point for Pons. So Warren Young is now gonna be down five to three, giving up the stall point. You can't, you can't hang on the leg. Ten seconds remaining in the second period. Warren Young down five to three. Hopefully, try to hold on here without giving up an escape point or a stall call. He's got to let go. Had to let go of that leg. If you saw how that opponent's leg was like up in the air there, and Warren was just holding on to it, you have to really let him go. You can only really hold that up for just a few seconds. Boy, those two stall calls that hurt Warren in his neck. They take those away, Warren's right back in there. For sure, no doubt about it. But now we have a three-point match. Pons up six to three. Young is going to take down. He can get out here and early escape, cut it to two, and maybe hope for a takedown. He's really trying to. Yeah, Warren's got some work to do, pick up some lost ground. He's got it. He got the reversal. Great job by Warren. So that was 6 5.
So a little bit of action, crazy action happening there. So he does cut him. It's seven five Ponds. Minute thirty remaining. So just a two point lead. Father Judge here. Oh, he's got a headlock. Oh, if you could just. Oh he had a headlock there. If you just hipped in and threw it. <coughs> Rather exciting match here. He sure did. And he gets the two. Great job by Warren. Tie it up 7 7. Minute one second left in the third period here. Very exciting match. So Warren's going to give his opponent a point. And I, and I understand the reason for this is if he does get called for another stall point. It's actually not a point, it'll be two points. So, I think theoretically here, if he takes him down, he could win this match. Now only down by one point, coming down with 45 seconds remaining. Gotta make something happen. That's not the position he wants to be in. And unfortunately, he gave up a late takedown here. Still has time though, it's 10 7. Boy, it would be really nice if we could maybe step over here. If we could hip over. 25 seconds remaining. Hans is just staying away from him there. Yeah. Hans is trying to ride this out. It's a 10-7 victory. So he cuts him. It's 10-8. Seconds remaining. So final score, Steve Pons from by the judge, 10. Warren Young, 8. That was a That'll heck of an give uh, Young. That'll give Father Judge 25 team points. And Plymouth White March at 39. So a 39-25 lead here. Going into the last match of the evening at 170 pounds. This is Eric Lindemann of Father Judge and Tommy DeSisto from Plymouth White March. So PW now up by 14, has secured the victory with only one, re one match remaining. Sisto trying for this high crotch there. Didn't work out for him. Now it caught underneath. Lindemann with the front headlock. Trying to work back up to his feet. And he breaks the front headlock. Sisto with a nice shot on the sig single, but he doesn't finish. Got that back leg. He's got it. He just, just needs to crack it back. Lindemann really just hipping in here and defending it off. Short time here left, five seconds remaining. 
don't think anybody's going to get anything there. Ah, that's well, made so far. A lot of work for no points. So that's the end of the first period. No score here. At 170 pounds. Playing with White Marsh is Tommy DeSisto. Against Father Judge's Eric Lindemann. So DeSisto takes down the start. He throw, Lindemann throws legs in right away. Plymouth White Marsh will be home next uh, on Wednesday night, December the 23rd, night before Christmas Eve against Upper Marion High School. Rather late holiday match yeah. for the Colonials. Zero, zero. Minute 12 seconds remaining. Second period. Sisto really needs to work hard here to get out. So have we converted you to being a fan, Luke? I'm definitely, definitely more interested. I'll tell you right now, I learned a lot more about wrestling than I ever knew. I think I'm going to stick with football, though. <laughs> it's understandable. It's not quite as tough. No, 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 it's not. Sisto with a real nice switch there. Lean it back in. 2-0 lead with the reversal. Oh, he's going to get caught in a Peterson here. And that that oh, that's that's a lot of trouble. And he takes it to a headlock. And Tommy's in bad position here. He's got to ride this out this period. Ten seconds left. Up. And that's all she wrote for Tommy, unfortunately. So that's going to bring an end to our match this evening with Father Judge High School. Plymouth White Marsh, 39. Father Judge High School, 31. Close match here at the end. And again, uh, please join us two weeks from tonight, December the 23rd. The Colonials will take on the Upper Marion Vikings at home here at Colonial Elementary School. Hi, Adrian. How are you? How are you? And we thank you for joining us this evening. Again, Plymouth White Marsh 39, Father Judge High School 31. Luke, thank you for joining me this evening. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And we will certainly see you next time here on CITV. Good night, all.